A big hello to all my young friends from Tiny Tot Tales. Are you a bundle of mischief? Do you love playing pranks on other people? Do mommy and daddy call you a naughty child? Yes? Then you are just like Mr. Mischief. Let's read what mischief he's up to in this story. Are you ready? Let's go. Mr. Mischief woke up and groaned. He did not feel well. In fact, he felt decidedly unwell. He got up and went to the bathroom to look at himself in the mirror. He was covered in spots. So he made an appointment with Dr. Make You Well. You've got measles, said the doctor. And the best thing you can do is go home to bed and stay there for a week. Mr. Mischief's face fell. A whole week in bed? No mischief for a whole week? Mr. Mischief groaned for the second time that day. And don't forget, said Dr. Make You Well. As Mr. Mischief is leaving, measles are very catching. Mr. Mischief closed the door and then he grinned, a very mischievous grin. The sort of grin that meant that he was about to get up to no good. Before he went home, Mr. Mischief popped into the hardware shop and bought a pot of yellow paint. Then he painted over all his spots before paying Mr. Happy a visit. He didn't stay long, just long enough. Just long enough, thought Mr. Mischief as he walked home to give Mr. Happy the measles. When he got home, he went to bed and lay there chuckling to himself. What a nasty person he is! All the next day, he lay in bed and thought about the trick he had played on Mr. Happy. And he thought, if Mr. Happy had the measles, then Mr. Tickle might catch them from Mr. Happy. Mr. Mischief chuckled at the thought of Mr. Tickle with spots all over his long arms. Oh no! And Mr. Nosy might catch the measles from Mr. Tickle. No, 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 no. And he chuckled at the thought of Mr. Nosy with the spotty nose. Hmm? And he chuckled at the thought of Mr. Tall with spotty legs. Aww. And Mr. Wrong, who would probably have blue spots because he gets everything wrong. And little Miss Tiny would only have room for one spot on her body. This will keep me happy all week long, chuckled Mr. Mischief to himself. Just then, there was a knock at the door. Mr. Mischief struggled out of bed and answered it. Hello, said Mr. Happy. I heard you had the measles, so I thought I'd come around and cheer you up. Here. I bought you these. Mr. Happy gave Mr. Mischief a bunch of grapes. Mr. Mischief looked at Mr. Happy. Hmm, but as hard as he looked, he couldn't see any spots. Not even one. Uh, Aren't you afraid of catching the measles from me? stammered Mr. Mischief. Of course not, said Mr. Happy. I've already had them. And as you know, you can only get them once. Mr. Mischief's face fell and he groaned again. Hmm, what's wrong? asked Mr. Happy. Don't you like grapes? Naughty, naughty Mr. Mischief. At the end, he got a taste of his own bitter medicine. Don't you think? 
<laughs> yes, he did. Well, I guess that's all for today. From Tiny Tot Tales. Till next time. Toodles, everyone. If you enjoyed listening to this story, please like and subscribe to Tiny Tot Tales. If you have any story requests, please send an audio or a visual clip to our email given in the description below. Thank you. Thank you.